Hello, I'm Penny Curry and I work at St Barb Museum and Art Gallery in Nimington in the New Forest. We're currently shut due to the coronavirus outbreak, um, but we are looking forward to when we will be reopening. And we will be opening with our open sesame exhibition and um, artists are putting their work in through our online submissions. Um, which is still open now, so you can still enter to through the open. We thought it'd be a really good idea to chat to some of the artists that have um, entered before. And this is our second interview, and today we are going to talk to Davina Downs. Davina won the um, Blake Morgan Award for the Best Painting um, last year in 2019. So let's just get, um, have a chat with Davina. Hello Davina, thank you very much for taking part in our interviews. Have you entered the St. Barb Open before? Um, I have. I tried, um, I submitted two entries the first year we moved the house down here. And um, I didn't get selected for with either picture. And my New Year's resolution last year was to be brave and try again. And I submitted one entry and um, I couldn't believe it when the, a, it got accepted. And, that I'd won the prize. Of it course, because you won the, the Blake Morgan Award for the best painting. I mean, that's amazing. How did that make you feel? Oh, I, I burst into tears when I got the, the news. Um, and um, it was just the most wonderful sense of elation and the confidence it's given me in my painting now. Yeah. Uh, it really, it's just, it's been the most wonderful thing. Really wonderful thing. So. Fantastic. Thank you guys. <laughs> what was the artwork called? It was um, the Welsh Hills, wasn't it? Welsh, Welsh Hills in winter. A little oil that I did um, using just a palette knife. And actually some of the best pictures I've done have taken really remarkably a short amount of time. I mean, it just sort of happened. And did it, you paint it when you were there or was it from a photograph or? Uh, it, it was sort of from my head. Oh right, so based, okay. Based on a photograph, but mm -hmm. sort of from my head. It was um, really atmospheric. I really liked the colours and the tones that you used that really went together. It's funny how sometimes something like that just comes together, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's amazing. It was, it was fantastic. And it made you cry right. when you won the award. <laughs> oh I, yes, I mean, yes, it was um, really rather embarrassing <laughs> because I wasn't alone. <laughs> Do you paint regularly? I. I try and make myself paint on the same days each week because otherwise there's so many other things that would take over and I probably would never paint and I need to paint because it's definitely good for me. You need to set aside time, don't you? Yeah. You it's definitely good. do. So everybody knows I paint on Mondays and I paint on Thursdays and I go to life drawing every other Saturday, um, which is a very good discipline. And it's just really good for de-stressing you and making you focus. And just um, absorbing you stuff in it. I think that, that the hardest thing sometimes is just getting going. You know, if you don't set aside that time, I think, you know, for people that aren't um, used to, to doing art and haven't got that discipline, it, it's the actual physical getting on with it, really. And once you get on with it, you just get to completely absorbed, don't you? You do, but you've got to make yourself start at 10 o'clock or whatever time yeah. and do yeah. something. It doesn't matter yeah. even if you, if, yeah. if you just draw you know, the ki I don't know, the kitchen roll or whatever, you know, yeah. bowl of fruit or whatever is you're looking at, your shoes, anything, doesn't it matter. It for something else, yeah. it's, the, it's the act of it. And once you've done something, you want to do the next thing. It's, it's quite addictive, isn't it? Yeah, it's, and we're so lucky to have it as a hobby. So with <laughs> the, the lockdown and everyone being in isolation now, many people that don't normally um, paint are picking up paintbrushes and doing artistic things. And some people, um, maybe are, are kind of like wanting to, but um, they're struggling to get started. So I'm, I'm asking everybody who's taking part in these interviews, what they would suggest to people to get started when they're struggling. Oof. Well, um, don't pick anything too complicated. Um, when you're out walking next time, have a look at what your, at your view and squint at it. And that, that way, if you squint, just sort of almost squish your eyes up, you can see the real lights and darks in your view and that's really what an artist as an artist you're trying to capture with the yeah. bits in the middle sort of just happening yeah. Um, yeah. and if you start looking at, at landscapes or woods or trees or anything it's and the light at the moment is just fantastic the sun cascading through the 
in between the tree trunks. Yes. Um, and it's really inspiring with it's this lovely inspiring. sunshine. It's a nice, nice light at the moment, isn't it? There's lots, mm. lots to see. It's really mm. good. So um, are you going to enter the Open again now this year? Because you haven't entered yet, have you? <laughs> I haven't entered yet. No, I, I, I ran out of time before lockdown. And now oh, that well, we've reopened I'm... it, so you have no excuse. Anyone who's right. entered the Open, <laughs> it's all online on the website. So take a look and you'll find it. I'm definitely, definitely going to enter and um, I'm going to enter a painting I did um, about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. All I right. was walking and um, saw these tiny, tiny little dog violets that had appeared in the wood mm -hmm. and the light and the, everything was just so fantastic. And I, normally I paint, you know, out in the open, yeah. um, but I had my telephone on me and I took a photograph and... Okay. Um, and it was just so good to try and capture it. Anyway, I probably will enter that. Brilliant. Well, I look forward to seeing it. That's fantastic. <laughs> Thank you very much for taking part.